That storm barreling towards the Caribbean. But is it going to make landfall here in the United States? Big question for Rick Wackmuth, who joins me now from the Weather Center. And, you know, Janice was telling us this morning that Irma could be worse than Harvey as far as the system goes. All right. Well, I don't have an answer for you uh, if it's going to make landfall. <laughs> Way too early to tell you. And worse meaning maybe stronger? Yes. Uh, worse? I would think is relative to if it hits land. Uh, if it does not hit land, if it just is a fish storm, then it's just a very strong storm. It is a strong storm, actually weakened a little bit. Doesn't matter, category two, so far out here. I mean, we're, it's about 1,500 miles off the African coast, about 1,500 miles away from the Lesser Antilles, a long way away from the U.S. Any impacts to the U.S. aren't for about 10 to 12 days from now, and a lot can change in a forecast. Uh, with that. So we can't really say exactly. This is a picture of it, though. Uh, very well organized. Probably will strengthen again. Kind of the indication we're going to watch this storm move off towards the south. That is kind of an unusual track for a storm this strong. If that does happen, depending on how far south it goes, will depend on if it gets pulled back up towards the, the north uh, or not over time. So that's what we're going to watch here over the next couple of days. The Lesser Antilles certainly need to watch this for around Wednesday. Puerto Rico needs to be watching it. Uh, but our steering currents, everything is kind of always determined in the Atlantic by a thing called the Bermuda High. It's an area of high pressure here. Everything just kind of drives along this. It's when we see a weakening in this that it allows the storm to pull off towards the north. And we have a lot of days. Anything that would make that pull off towards the north is way out in the Pacific at this time, that kind of a system. That's why it's way too hard to tell. The European model, Cheryl, that we like. There you go. That's Wednesday flirting here with the Lesser Antilles. I will tell you, yesterday this model was indicating somewhere more maybe getting in towards the Gulf. Now it is indicating that it gets pulled up towards the north, doesn't hit land in the U.S. as of now. The GFS, this is that American model that we look at, kind of follows the exact same story, maybe even a little bit farther towards the north. Folks in the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos certainly need to watch this. But take a look here. We're talking a week from Sunday and maybe a storm here off the coast. That is way too close for comfort, I will tell you. If you're on the East Coast, keep paying attention. We'll keep telling you. Um, but we cannot tell you if it will or will not hit landfall at this point. Way too far out. Rick, you and Janice do such a great job, by the way. And I think I speak for all of our viewers of explaining the different models and what it means. You, you all have been so great this week. So thank, thank you. you. Thanks. For, yeah. You